We're going to work on some Pythagorean theorem word problems. So the first one is, two kids are flying a kite with a string that is 50 meters long. If the kids are 35 meters apart, how high is the kite off the ground? So we've been given a diagram where here are the two children on the ground, here is our kite, and our string is marked at 50 meters. The children are also marked at 35 meters apart. So we already can see our right triangle. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, and remember it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. On this problem, c is opposite the right angle, so that's the 50 that we're going to plug in and we're going to square it. One of the legs is 35, and I can plug that either in for a or b. I'm just going to plug it in for a. So 35 squared plus b squared is equal to 50 squared. So now I'm going to grab my calculator and I'm going to take 50 and I'm going to square it. So you're going to click this button and that gives me um, 2,500. And I'm going to take 35 and I'm going to square that and that gives me 1,225, and then I bring in the b squared down. Now I'm going to subtract 1,225 from both sides. So 2,500 minus 1,225, that's going to give me b squared is 1,275. Now to undo this square, I'm going to take the square root. So I'm not going to hit the second and square root button of 1275. And my answer is 35.7. So that means the kite is 35.7, in this case, meters high. Okay, that's our first problem. Let's look at our second problem. A carpenter needs to add two braces to a barn door. If the door measures 12 by 16, how much wood will he need for both braces? Okay, so we already have our diagram, and here's the barn door, and it's 12 feet high and 16 feet wide, so the braces go diagonally across. Well, this looks more like a rectangle, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull a triangle out of here. So I'm gonna draw the triangle here, and as you can see, we have a right triangle with a base of 16, a height of 12. So I need to know the hypotenuse of the longest side. So I'm going to take my a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to take my two legs and plug them in for a and b. And my unknown is the hypotenuse c. So now let's grab our calculators and do 12 squared, which is 144 plus 16 squared, which is 256. And I'm going to add those together, and I get 400. Okay, and that's equal to, so c squared is equal to 400. Now to undo that, I will take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to take the square root of 400, and I get 20, so C is 20. Now, that's only one of my braces. So let's go back and look at the problem again. One brace is 20, so the other one, this is a rectangle, and in a rectangle, the diagonals are congruent because this side would also be 12, and we would have another right triangle identical to it, just reflected. So that means I'm gonna take 20, and I'm gonna double it to get how much wood I need. So I'm gonna need 40 feet of wood to complete the barn door. There you go. Hope this was helpful.